major legal cases in the United States with Texas filing a lawsuit in the Supreme Court against four key states won by President-elect Joe Biden. And it's being supported by 17 other states. The Attorney General of Texas alleges Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia and Michigan all illegally changed their election laws, thereby compromising the result of the 2020 presidential vote. Certain officials in the defendant states presented the pandemic as the justification for ignoring state laws regarding absentee and mail-in voting. The defendant states flooded their citizenry with tens of millions of ballot applications and ballots in derogation of statutory controls as to how they are lawfully received, evaluated and counted. The lawsuit doesn't allege voter fraud, but points out that there were voting irregularities. We asked legal and political analyst Lionel why the case is important. The reason why this is important is that under Article 3 of our Constitution, the Supreme Court is the site of original jurisdiction, meaning you go directly to the Supreme Court in cases of lawsuits or disputes between states. It was very rare for the Supreme Court to hear or to answer anything. But in this particular case, the Supreme Court is acting not as an appellate court, not as an appeals court, but as the original court. And this is unlike any other case. And the reason that they are basing this lawsuit, the reason for this is that it is alleged that it is against the Constitution for the courts, in essence, to change the rules of elections, they should be done so by legislatures. This is unlike any other case because it goes directly to the Supreme Court and is being brought by states and not people. That's critical. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim El Shav over Chak Wadash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shah is from the world, he nearly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rechak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. And I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And, you know, you just heard that uh, uh, news clip from RT News. And as you can see, you have Texas, you know, they're um, suing for uh, other states, okay? And you have 17 other states backing up what Texas is doing, okay? And whether this be something <clears throat> that was designed, you know, uh, by the elites, okay? You know, whether this be a, a pre-planned uh, event or whether this actually be something that's happening naturally, okay? So to speak, okay? Whether it be organic, all right? Um, ultimately, the Heavenly Father, what he's doing is he's putting the spirits, all right? He's putting the spirit on these uh, officials to uh um to be divided okay all right that's the uh, ultimately who's the real puppet master in this whole um reality that we're living in it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai okay and um you know let's start off actually with this scripture here first this is Mark chapter three verse twenty four and it reads and if Satan uh and if a kingdom be divided against itself that kingdom cannot stand and if a house be divided against itself that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand. But he but hath an end. Okay? And you're seeing that right now. We're seeing Esau's kingdom being split up. Okay? And like I said, whether this be something that's done uh, 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 naturally, because you got to understand that you have these Edomites, they're, um, they're having a lot of uh, in-house fighting right now. Okay? You know, it happened during the time of Rome. All right, and it's also going to happen again, all right, and and is happening again, okay. That's why the scriptures in Ecclesiastes talk about how there's nothing new under uh, under the sun, okay. All right, or like I said, whether this be a pre-planned event, because you, what Esau wants to do too is he wants to uh, um, basically manipulate the uh, thought process of people, okay. And you have a lot of these um, Edomites, all right, and also. Just in general, people who support Trump, okay, they're not um, in agreement with this election. They they don't believe that you know these uh, uh that this election was uh done uh uh, uh you know um for lack of words you know right okay they believe that there was uh, uh things were tampered okay 
you know, uh, these votes were manipulated, and they're upset about that. And pretty much, you know, we're starting to see uh, a civil war brew up right before our eyes. All right, and um, let me get this because it says in the book of uh, Isaiah here. It says in Isaiah nineteen and two, it says here, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Okay, and the modern day Egyptians are these Americans, and it says, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city. You see, it says city against city. All right, and pretty much all these states, they're their own uh, uh, city. Okay, in a sense, right? They're their own providence. Okay, and you now you're starting to see them fight uh, one against another. All right, and it says in kingdom against kingdom, and ultimately you have um, these great kingdoms right now, you know, getting ready for war, you know, on the uh, the macro sense. All right, and this is you know a beautiful thing. This is see for us that are in this truth. This is what we've been waiting for. We've been waiting for, you know, the uh, the collapse of this kingdom, you know, and right now. You know, we're living in beautiful times because we're seeing all these prophecies being fulfilled right before our eyes. And all we got to do as, you know, followers and believers of Yahweh Bashim al Shai is to continue to have our faith, to do this work, to be obedient, and just sit back and watch and let the Lord, you know, do uh, uh, these great works and wonders, okay? And that's, like I said, that's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing, you know, Esau, you know, a uh, um, fall. You know, they did a whole... um tactic on us called divide and conquer okay and that's what the lord's ultimately doing to them because really the lord's the the, uh, the ultimate chess player and these edomites are you know they're they're uh they're falling okay they're falling and it's a beautiful thing all right but uh you know i'm going to keep this uh lesson short and straight to the point you know hey akim it's before we know it, hey there, there might be you know a civil war out here, you know, mixed with this, you know, pandemic, you know, which is going to what? You know, uh, enforce martial law. Oh, yeah, you can't forget about the uh, economic collapse that's happening right now, right before our eyes. All these things are happening simultaneously. And things are about to get real crazy out here, man. You know, the Lord's orchestrating everything perfectly. All right. So, uh, you know, uh. You know, it's coming, you know, just be, you know, prepared, be, you know, stay spiritual, stay focused and, you know, just remain faithful. Okay. And with that, you know, I'm going to end it off and I hope this lesson was, uh, you know, this lesson was an edifying lesson. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor and glory to you. How about Shemel Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all the brothers out there. Shalom.